All right, so let's start by just reading the problem together. It, we're told that uh, a bicycle club went on a six-hour ride. And the graph below shows the relationship between the number of hours spent on the trails and the number of miles traveled. So we're looking at the relationship between um, hours and miles. And you can see that hours down here are placed on the x-axis appropriately, and miles are placed on the y-axis. And this graph just tells us at what time um, the distance is that they've traveled. So for example, at three hours, looks like they're at about 33 miles. So this point tells me at three hours, they've gone about 33 miles. If we zoom up here, let's say at the end, after six hours, they've reached 50 miles. So the point six, 50, six represents hours and 50 represents distance. They want to know which statement best interprets information provided by the graph. Okay. So the club members rode at a constant speed for the entire ride. Well, that's not true. Uh, we wouldn't expect it to be true either, right? But if it was true, the graph would form some type of straight line like this. You would see something that's not wavering at all. But this line, uh, this collection of lines, this function, essentially is uh, almost not constant um, in many places. It's constantly wavering, right? So we don't see that straight line. It's not constant. Uh, the club members stopped for a rest during their ride. Well, let's take a look. Does that seem reasonable? I'm looking at this part of the graph right here, and I'm noticing that from 333 over to this point, 433, right, it looks like on this graph, from uh, the hours of 3 to the hours 4, and they did not increase their distance. We're still at 33 miles, so they didn't move at all in that hour. So it's reasonable to then infer that during that hour they might have rested, and I would choose choice B. Uh, and if we read the other choices, we'll see that those are also unreasonable. And C, they say the number of miles traveled increased continuously throughout the ride. That's not reasonable because in this part, right, there is no increase, right? So, and, and that's also another way of saying what A is saying, which is they move at a constant speed. Speed is essentially distance divided by time, right? Um, and that is slope, and that's changing. And C is also uh, saying the same thing as A, um, but that's changing throughout. And then D says the number of miles traveled increased some of the time and decreased some of the time. That's not really possible, right? Uh, the rate could increase and decrease, but the number of miles, if you traveled, let's say, 33 miles, even if you're not increasing, uh, any movement you make, whether it's further away or further back toward your, your starting destination, is increasing your distance, right? How can you move around and not increase your distance? So that's not really even possible. Anyway, hope this helped. Thanks.